As a BW alum, coming back and working with the LaunchNet team has helped in several ways. Uh, through connections that have been valuable, through providing feedback on ideas, and obviously just being generally supportive of me as an alum. As the program manager for LaunchNet, I enjoy getting to work with BW entrepreneurs of all majors, backgrounds, and experiences. LaunchNet is for everybody, so whatever your idea, we're here to help you work on it. LaunchNet has been one of the most useful resources in terms of helping my startup business succeed. LaunchNet was great because it introduced me to things that I couldn't learn in the classroom and it gave me expertise that I didn't have before. My name is Hannah Schleter and I'm the Program Manager for LaunchNet at the Baldwin-Wallace Center for Innovation and Growth. LaunchNet strives to infuse innovation and entrepreneurship across campus. We do this by providing free and confidential venture coaching to BW current students, faculty, staff, and even alumni. And LaunchNet is user-driven. You can use it as much or as little as you like. Sometimes we meet with clients as often as once a week or once a semester. It's totally up to you. What we try to do is to facilitate connections on and off campus so that you can take your idea to the next level. BW LaunchNet is one of five institutions in the Neil LaunchNet program funded by the Burton D. Morgan Foundation. These other institutions include Kent State, Case Western, Lorain County Community, John Carroll, and of course, Baldwin Wallace. What that means for BW entrepreneurs is if we can't find a connection or an answer to your question, we can tap into the entrepreneurial ecosystem a lot quicker to get you the help you need for your venture. LaunchNet provides a variety of events throughout the calendar year. This includes Starts on the BW, an online idea contest where BW current students, faculty, and staff can submit their ideas online for a variety of categories. The, one of the most recent success stories of Start Something BW is the BW Thrift Store. This is a program that was a winner of the Start Something BW contest, and it partners with the Leave It Behind program through the Community Center of Engagement, where we pick up clothes from student dormitories and resell them to students at pop-up shops throughout the year. Another program that BW LaunchNet holds is called BW Idea Labs. This is a more formal idea competition where students present their idea in front of a closed panel of judges. The great thing about this contest is they can actually secure $1,000 in venture capital for their idea. Another opportunity for Baldwin Wallace students is to become a LaunchNet intern. After completing the SIG Student Fellows Program, you can work as a LaunchNet intern and help support BW entrepreneurs, uh, develop events and marketing strategies for all of our LaunchNet programming. This is a great paid internship and opportunity for students looking to explore entrepreneurship and develop their innovator skill set. Hello, my name is Eliza Sawyers, a sociology major with minors in psychology and communications. I'll be graduating in December of this year, and I've been serving as a LaunchNet intern for the past two semesters. My name is Ashley Menno. I'm graduating in 2019, and I'm a current student LaunchNet intern. Hello, my name is Elise Catterley, and I'm going to be graduating in May of 2019. I learned about LaunchNet through a SIG staff member, Shannon Fee, who introduced me to the SIG Fellows Program, which led me to LaunchNet. I heard about LaunchNet um, through my academic advisor, Brian Bowser. He sent an email to all the arts management majors about a paid opportunity to get involved with the Center for Innovation and Growth, and because I had been to an event there previously, I was really excited to get involved. In work itself, we have a lot of different types of tasks and things from creating advertisements to um, touching base with clients and things like that, and even attending the events and um, helping run them. So it's definitely not your normal desk job. It's really enjoyable. I've learned so many new marketing tools, skills, software that I can take with me into my future. And I'd have to say my favorite part about being an intern is all of the events we advertise for, we can attend. So just being involved within the SIG community is my favorite. Hello, my name is Matthew Harris. I'm a double major in marketing and film. I'm a junior here at Baldwin Wallace. I run my own video productions company, Blitz Studios, and I've worked closely with LaunchNet on many projects. 
I first got involved in LaunchNet when they referred me to another student who was interested in creating a short film. Ever since then, I've worked more with LaunchNet on business projects, but that kind of kick-started the whole idea of me coming to them for help and support. So the company I formed, Blitz Studios, is a video productions company. We focus on promotional videos, event filming, corporate events, and we really like to take the business side of things and add a creative storytelling element to whatever product or service you offer. The opportunities that LaunchNet has provided me with are unlike anywhere else on campus. They've network, networked with me with fellow local entrepreneurs that have resulted in business and revenue coming in, as well as connecting me with different foundations, different companies looking for promotional videos. They've really helped me in every step of the business. And that even includes you know, free legal service, you know, counseling, help writing, drafting emails, project proposals, pretty much all areas of the business Lancha has been there to help me with. So hi, my name is Deja Abrams. Um, I will be graduating in December of this year and the name of my company is The Glisten Effect LLC. The Glisten Effect was created to enhance all skin types with moisture and softer skin and it's guaranteed to leave your skin feeling softer and more moisturized with products such as sugar scrubs, body butters, body oils, bath bombs, and beard oils. The Launch Net introduced me to the IPV Venture Clinic um, and it actually motivated me to you know, go ahead and create a bank account, go ahead and create my LLC, and go ahead and create a operating agreement so that I you know, may put this stamp of, of approval on the LLC and make it more official. The IP Venture Clinic is focused on two areas of law that we think are fundamental to a successful venture. One is corporate and business law related to entity formation, uh, founders agreements, the initial uh, understandings and, and contracts that one needs to really launch a business matched with the uh, regulatory and uh, transactional counseling around uh, raising money. The IP Venture Clinic is uh, in some ways embedded into the uh, Baldwin Wallace LaunchNet program. We have a dedicated student who uh, spends time on campus every week holding office hours primarily to try to go to where the student entrepreneur is. Uh, my name is Mike Doherty, class of 1999. I'm the founder of a company called Smart Mulch and co-founder of another company called Breakwall Analytics. Uh, so the two, the two businesses that I'm working on are very different. Um, Smart Mulch is a product that we, we intend to replace or offer an alternative for bagged mulch consumers. Essentially, we've reimagined mulch as lightweight compressed tiles that expand to the perfect depth by just adding water. Breakwall Analytics is a sensor-based data collection and analytics company, uh, and we're actually, we've been designing for and with uh, our initial client. I started working with LaunchNet about two years ago um, and have seen several benefits from, from working with the team there. Um, all the way back to two years, two years ago, just coming in as an alum, I had a bunch of these crazy ideas in my head. Um, so part of the value for me was coming in and having a sounding board, getting these ideas out of my head, talking through several of them. For aspiring BW entrepreneurs, I would recommend, first of all, get the idea out of your head on, and onto paper. Put it in front of some objective, non-biased people and get some feedback. Uh, one of the things that I would also do as part of that is really push yourself to think about what the solution could be in a perfect world. Just to go for it. No idea is bad and even if you're hesitant, you never know when you put your idea out there who's really going to take interest in and make it happen. Keep utilizing the resources BW provides you. LaunchNet has been excellent to me along the way and I don't know where I'd be without it. As soon as you come up with the idea, go ahead and talk to somebody about it. You know, don't wait because I kind of waited a little bit to see if, you know, how it would take off. And I think that kind of hindered my business starting off. No idea is too small and it's never too late to start something. You can come drop by LaunchNet anytime without an appointment. We're located downstairs in the Union, so come share your ideas with us.